Hello everybody, this is Chromesco018, and this is going to be my thoughts on Vampire Not Guilty, episode 11. Yeah, this is the episode where things get sad. Especially if you're attached to the character Ichiru. Like I thought in the last episode, I thought that Rito attacked him, and yes, he actually did. Because... Ichiru tried to avenge Shizuka because Rito was the one who put her in the jail, I think. Where she ended up, you know, taking that va human turned vampire lover, and then all that started. But. Yeah. He, Shizuka, he tried to avenge Shizuka. He was no match for Rito. No match at all. And Rado injured him. I don't know if it was through his sword or using his own hand as a weapon. I don't know. But Ichiru was badly injured. Actually, I think he was fatally injured. But... Yeah, that happened, and he went to Zero and actually shot him with the Bloody Rose. And told Zero that he needed to drink the last of his, drink his blood to get the last of his life force and get the power that he should have gotten the rest of the power that he should have gotten when they were both in the in their mother's womb cuz apparently uh when there are twins uh when a vampire hunter has t is carrying twins one will devour the other zero didn't do that completely while they were in the womb so he doesn't have all his vampire hunter powers and I think Kaname knows this, so Zero or Ichiru pleads with him to take the last of the power that he should have had, so he will be a match for Rito. Zero is obviously against this, not just because he would have to drink Ichiru's blood, but because that would kill him. Then again, if he didn't, he would die anyway, I think. But, yeah, it... When that isn't happening, uh, Yuki is running around like, trying to find Zero. I think. No, she's running off doing something. And then it cuts back to Ichiru and Zero. But Zero and Ichiru start thinking about all the good times that they had and how they had wanted things to be different and everything. But, yeah. <sighs> I'm tired. I got woken up about almost 8 o'clock my brother coming in trying to take the router. And then all this... Actually, I can show you now. Yeah, the router's right there. And the, and the plug and the wires are going through there, past me, and out the window. You can actually see... The cords. See, you can see the cords sticking out of the window. And they're going up to the crawl space and into his PlayStation and computer. And apparently, even when, they're wa and even when the wa things are plugged in like they're supposed to, when they were in the other room, he still had lag. I have no clue why. I mean, the thing is closer to, my, closer to him, so why, I don't know why he's having such a hard time. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully it's gotten better, I hope, because if it hasn't, he wanted to have another router, and that would mean we'd have to get another internet service, and that would cost an extra $50, so if he wa really wants it that badly, he's going to have to pay for it, if he really wants it that badly. And even if he was to get it, I think they would give him an ethernet cord to plug into, I don't know. I don't know, really. He would get cords to plug into the router, because that's what mine is. Mine's an Ethernet cord that's plugged into the router and plugged into my computer. So, I don't know. He would probably still waste his money on those cords anyway. Because he had to buy them. A anyway, enough about that. Um, But finally, at the end of the episode, Zero finally agrees and drinks the last, the blood that's holding last of Ichiru's life force, and Ichiru dies. 
which is sad because you would want those brothers to be able to reconcile and I think they kind of did in a way but I wanted them to live and be able to enjoy life again but no Ichiru dies Zero gets a lot more power because as he's leaving what the oh sorry if it if the footage froze I apologize I don't know what con so yeah He's a lot stronger because of that. And now he's got apparently all the tools he needs in order to defeat Rado. So I think Kano I planned that whole thing. Or planned for Ichiru to give the last of his life to Zero. Anyway, that's essentially where the episode ends. And I don't really have any predictions as to anything else that'll happen in this episode. Or not in the episode, in the rest of the series, to be honest, because there's one more episode and then... Hang on. Weird. Heard a strange noise. Anyway, um, that's all I have to say because I've only got... No, wait. I'm sorry. This <laughs> this is episode 11, not 10. I am sorry. I was thinking that it was episode 10 again. I'm sorry. I got my episodes mixed. I'm really tired if I'm doing that stuff. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, this is episode 11. So next episode is the episode before the finale. And then the finale, I assume, is part of the, a it's part of the aftermath of taking down Rito. Because obviously it's going to happen. Why wouldn't it? Anyway, uh, that's all I have to say, and I will see you all next time.